Hey, how you doing? Ben Broussard with Loga coming at you from hometown Lafayette, Louisiana, here with this week's Drilling Report. Hope everyone's okay out there. Sure wish this wasn't the case, but our hometown is hurting. Please join me in a brief moment of silence for the victims and families involved in last week's tragedy in Lafayette. Thanks for that. I appreciate it. All right. Let's do this. Starting things off with the latest prices. WTI drops to $47.98, while Louisiana Light Sweet follows at $52.11 a barrel. August Henry Hub Gas comes in at $2.80 per MMBTU. EIA Hub spot price through July 20th reads at $2.88 an MMBTU. A little good news. The current U.S. rig count gains to 876, adding 19 rigs over last week week, down 1,007 from a year prior. Okay, more good news up north. Six new permits in the Haynesville, four of those for Anadarko in Bozier's Elm Grove, and two of those for Red River's Thorn Lake for Chesapeake. Pre-production numbers in the Haynesville come in at 252. As for the whole of North Louisiana, Gladney Energy Partners, if you remember these guys from last week, garnering a permit in Madison Parish. They spud in Del High, bringing a rig online. Still 12 running in Lincoln Parish, most, if not all, for Memorial resource development. Rig ads in DeSoto, Red River, and Madison bring North Louisiana up to 26 rigs. Tuscaloosa Marine Shale, after last week's permit from Paloma, TMS rather quiet in the news front. Pre-production numbers stay at 13. Moving on to South Louisiana land, starting in Ascension Parish, where Reunion Resources recently spud in the Darrow Field. Another new project came alive this week in Calcasieu with Samson Exploration, this one in West Edgerly. Moving over to St. Mary Parish, Gulf Exploration Company kicked off a new one in the Generette field, making two rigs in St. Mary Parish. Just adding up the good news, South Louisiana land gains four rigs to rest at 17. On to inland water, both of the Tana exploration projects at Timbalier Bay pulled up, waiting on completion. Hillcorp Energy drove and spud at Lake Washington in Plaquemines Parish this week. Finally, Peak Energy recently began drilling at Vermilion's East White Lake. Good gains for inland water, adding two to end out with four rigs. Louisiana State Offshore Waters, nothing doing at the moment out here still only three existing state permits finally OCS federal drilling drops one rig this week coming in at 30 running drilling projects now as a whole Louisiana ended out at 77 active projects for the week adding seven rigs over last report now as for deep water permits got us two of them, both for Shell, both at Walker's Ridge, Block 508. Little tidbit of info here, roughly 15 day wait between application and approval for these permits. Shallow water, nothing doing. Back on land, 17 new permits in 10 Louisiana parishes. This is good stuff, so much better than what we've been seeing. Of course, we had the four in Bossier for Anadarko, two in Red River for Chesapeake, Hellas permits at Black Bay West, LLOX permits in Golden Meadow of Lafouche Parish, finally Mac Energy gets approval in St. Landry Parish. Good stuff indeed. This week's permits went out in Bossier, Caddo, Lafouche, Madison, Plaquemines, Red River, Rapides, Sabine, St. Landry, and Wynn Parishes. Hey, you want a little more info, be sure and check out the Office of Conservation's website. Thanks to you guys for listening to this report and sharing it with the folks you know. Click this button right here to share it on up. Don't forget to follow Loga for up-to-date news on the oil and gas industry right here in Louisiana. Until next time, this has been Broussard with Loga TV.